This, just like the name over here says, is the Prusa Powder Pay 3D printing surface. And not really by the coincidence, for the last two years, it's my favorite printing surface. It's easy to use, it works with almost every popular filament type, it's durable, and most of the time it works just fine. Most of the time because it is not perfect. The biggest problem of the surface is that when the contact area of the filament with the printing surface is not big, it delaminates easily. This is especially visible when printing small details with the PLA or something that has a lot of support. It really takes a lot of practice and effort to print something fine detail, really touching only the surface with the small surface area. But in almost every other case, works just fine. A few months ago I got this, because apparently the company called OSEQ OSEC, from Czech Republic saw my review of this printing bed and decided maybe Pavel knows what he's taking, so let's give him a sample of their safe sheet to compare this with this and also other printing surfaces I was using before. And this is the result. Just like the original Prusa, it's still it magnetic, fits perfectly the Prusa printer. By the way, they are only having this in a different form factor that accepts different printer types. It's also powder coated and it's also pay sheet. However, the main difference between this sheet and this sheet is that this one is much more fine grained. This one finish is almost like a satin finish. When you move your fingers over the powder coated from Prusa, you just feel that this is not even, there are bumps everywhere. Here, it more like feels like some kind of the abrasive materials, nothing like this. Like I mentioned, it has the nicer, smoother, yet kind of, you know, like you feel that this has a lot of surface area and as the result in theory should have much better adhesion, especially on the small PLA elements, than this one. The question is, is it true? And the answer is yes, definitely this has much better first layer adhesion than the powder sheet from Prusa. Because of the nicer, more detailed finish, there is probably just much more of the contact area between the print and the surface. And as the result, while with the Prusa one, when everything cooled down, the print just pops out from the surface, you take it. With this one, no, it's not that easy. Even after this sheet cools down, you still have to bend it to be able to detach the element, even if you are printing slightly too hard or this contact area between the print and the surface is not that big. And on top of that, the surface finish of the first layer is smoother. It's not as smooth, of course, if you would be printing on the glass, but my one of the smaller reservation for the original powder pay from Prusa is that, well, the, the, the first layer is not really smooth. This one, this one looks much more, be much better with much nicer finish of the first layer. And it does not have as big of the problem with the adhesion as the Prusa powder. If I would have to guesstimate, I would say that this is at least twice as much of the adhesion than the original one. And as a cool gadget, this section over here turns red when the bed is hot. It does not really improve your print, but kinda looks cool and funky on your printer. Overall review, I like this surface. Right now, this is my default surface on my Prusa printer. However, my I would not like to say a reservation, but there is one thing that we still do not know, and this is the durability of this surface. The original Prusa one, absolutely durable stuff. You cannot truly really destroy it if you do not scratch it. With this, I'm only using this for like six or eight weeks, and well, this is relatively short period of time, so we cannot be sure. However, however, all the other aspects of this sheet, like the finish, like the adhesion, and this, well, let's say cool red part that turns red when it's hot, are a good sign. So, 
Can I recommend it? Yes, I can recommend it if you find the first layer adhesion on the original powder pay from Prusa is not enough for you and you would like to be able to print smaller details over there without hassle because this one really has the better adhesion. But if you just like to buy yourself something new, well, maybe, okay, why not? It's better, but we do not know yet for how much over time it is better. So a definitely interesting product and I think that everyone who's into 3D printing can give it a try. I'm Pavel Spechalski, thank you very much for watching and until the next one.